It has become a common sight in Mogadishu. Armed men everywhere, some of them protecting MSF's teams. The coastal capital of Somalia has been reduced to ruins. The situation is improving, but it's a very slow process, and violence is still the daily lot of the people living here. Le, le mois d'avril, les militants Shebab ont été repoussés de, de la ville. The Al Shabab militants were driven out of the town back in April. So that means there's no actual fighting going on. There are also fewer killings, explosive devices, or attacks being perpetrated. But that doesn't mean they've stopped altogether. The situation is still highly volatile, and one of the main risks in Mogadishu today is being in the wrong place at the wrong time and getting caught up in an attack on the Amisom or the government in power. The MSF hospital in Danile was forced to close for six months when it found itself in the middle of a combat zone. Since it reopened in September 2012, 500 surgical interventions have been carried out here. This child was brought in from Merka after an explosion. So when he arrived, he was unconscious. He has a broken arm and a wound to his leg. The Horn of Africa was hit by a serious food crisis in 2011. The situation has since improved, but it would take little for the region's health status to deteriorate. Measles and cholera epidemics are a constant threat. In 2012, we worked on five sites in the city of Mogadishu. Then, when new operators arrived to provide outpatient and primary health care, and also because we wanted to reduce the risks to which we were exposing ourselves, we concentrated on Jazeera Hospital. The hospital has about 40 beds. At the end of the year, the maternity unit's activity really took off. At the beginning of 2013, we were doing six or seven deliveries a day in Jazeera. Two million Somalis have been forced from their homes by the fighting. Several hundreds of thousands of displaced people are now living in Mogadishu, like here in the Jazeera camp. Elsewhere in the country, vast areas remain inaccessible to aid workers. Two MSF volunteers, Blanco Thibault and Montserrat Serra, are still being detained somewhere in Somalia, more than 20 months after being kidnapped in Dadaab refugee camp in Kenya. MSF is calling for their immediate and unconditional release.